The Skyway smart glasses or camera glasses. You see, it comes in this nice carrying case. Kind of a big carrying case for sunglasses. A little bigger than I'm used to. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like the way that. Maybe that's why. They give you a little tester so you can really see that they're true UV glasses. There's your charging cable for it. it does come with three sets of lenses. So you can interchange those, clean the cloth. Give you a little manual here to tell you how to do it. This looks like they got a film on them. That needs to come off first to protect them. Yeah, you need to peel that off first. These are kind of cool though. So these are real sunglasses. Like I said, you can swap these glasses in and out, these lenses. For the different ones you got here. You got yellow ones, you got like a tinted one and then you got like the black darkened ones so then on the side here you got your charging port and then your on and off buttons here on the side also so everything's on the left side so basically you push and hold this for two seconds turn it on and then you push it real quick once to take a picture or push it real quick twice to turn on the video and then you push and hold it another two or for two seconds to turn it off again and then you can plug this cable into the light or into the glasses and then plug it into your computer and kind of use this as a like a flash drive to read the card and get your information off of there so where's the SD card it will take up to a 32 gig SD card I think it's right here but you gotta have a way to get to it. Yeah. Let's see what this says. No, that's not it. Oh. The SD card actually goes up here on top of the glasses. So that is not it. So don't pry that off like I just tried to. It slides in up here. Be sweet. I'm going to try these out and see what it looks like. See, I got these glasses plugged in now to my computer. So when you bring it up on your computer now, if you go into your Explorer, you have this local USB drive. You have this time text file and DCMI. Up in DCMI, you see I got a movie and a picture that I took. So here's how that looks on there. It's pretty good. It's pretty clear. Don't mind this blue line here in the screen. That's my monitor. But you can see the dates wrong on here. But the video itself looks great. I took a picture while I was in here too. Looks just as good. To fix that date on the screen, you got to change this time text file. So if you open it and change this to the correct date, what is today? The 18th. And then you change the time to whatever time it is. I believe it's got to be military time. And then you save it. Now, next time when you run and and create a movie or a or a picture, it should use this time that you have in here, and not what I originally have in here. <coughs> so it should change this to whatever time you just put in that text file. 